Hi my curious learners, so you are once again back with Mini. From your platform Learn Forward, we are going to start our journey ahead with chapter 5 of your book, The Grammar Hub by Feathered Caps for Grade 4. And what in this chapter? We are going to learn about the adjectives. You know adjectives exactly, they are the describing words. So we can describe everything around us. What are we going to learn here? Let's start the journey. Match the describing words with the pictures they describe. So can you see these children? They are just speaking so loud. So how are they? They are noisy, right? And what about this uh, horse? It's galloping fast, right? So that is a fast horse. Very good. What do you see from here? Yes, this is a red car. Very nice. And what do you feel from here? How the day is? Can you see something blowing? The leaves are just moving here and there. When does it happen? Very good. When it is a windy day. Right? So, this was an introduction about adjectives. A quick recap. And now we will be learning ahead. What are adjectives? Let's quickly recall. Adjectives are the describing words. And what do they describe? They describe nouns and pronouns also. Right? So, you have done different kinds of adjectives. Let's start with them. What are the different types of adjectives? What do adjectives tell? They tell the quality of nouns or pronouns. So, the very first kind is adjective of quality. So, what do they describe? What do they tell about nouns or pronouns? They tell how a noun or pronoun is. They might tell about the color. They might tell about the touch, whether it is hard or soft. They might tell about the height. They might tell about intelligence, anything. So, such words, they give the quality of nouns and pronouns. They are called adjectives of quality. For example, if we say he is a brave boy. So, we are describing this boy. How is he? What is his quality? He is brave. Right? So, brave is the adjective of quality. Going ahead, we have adjective of quantity. Quantity means something that we cannot count. For example, if I say, I want some milk. So, can I count milk? No. That means some is telling about milk. How much quantity do I need? That is the adjective of quantity. Give me some water. Again, I cannot count water. So, that is the adjective of quantity. That is not countable. So, it tells you how much and this tells you how. Okay. What kind of. Fine. Now, going ahead, the third type is adjective of number. And what's the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number? Adjective of quantity tells, gives an answer to how much. How much water do you need? How much medicine do I have to take? How much milk do you drink in a day? Right? So, quantity tells you how much and number tells you how many. Because when we say how many, we can always count that thing. How many fingers do you have? So, you can count and tell. How many stars do you see? Yes, we say how many stars because we can count the stars, but they are innumerable and counting is not possible. So, we say how many stars. Had the stars been uncountable, we would have asked, how much stars do you see? But we never say, because stars are definitely countable, but endless in counting. Okay. So, when we put the question, how many and we get answer in number, that is your adjective of number. And they can be, you know, they can be cardinal numbers. And they can be ordinal numbers also. You would have learned these words in math. This ordinal numbers definitely you would have heard. What are, what are ordinal numbers? Anybody? Okay, let me tell you. Ordinal numbers are the numbers that tell you the position. So, if I ask you, what is your position in exams? How do you say that? Very nice. You say first, second, third, fourth. These numbers are ordinal numbers. 
and when you just give accounting i have five friends i have two pens today so that is telling you about the number that is adjective of number okay so we can have cardinal numbers also and we can have ordinal numbers also they should be countable like there were 10 people so we can count people ria has one red dress so dress can be counted and i have some friends here see friends some we are not giving exact number how many friends 2 4 5 20 100 but we are saying some so what you have to check out is whether i can count friends or not i want some milk can i count milk or not so that will tell you whether the word is uh, adjective of quantity or adjective of number right so what you have to remember is same adjective just like i have given you the example of some same adjective can be the adjective of quantity it can be the adjective of number also you have to check out whether the noun it describes is countable or uncountable okay now going ahead next is possessive adjective what do you mean by possessive possessive word comes from the word possession that means belongingness whose noun am i talking about this is your pen so whose pen is it your that means it is telling you about whose it gives you an answer to whose the words that give answer to whose they are possessive adjectives like, just like i said this is your pen this is my pen this is their house this is our school right so such words are called possessive adjectives my friend whose friend my friend is better than your friend whose friend again your friend so these are possessive adjectives next comes is demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjectives are pointers they demonstrate they show they point out and what are these words children they give an answer to the question which right so you have to remember these question words whose you get an answer in the form of possessive adjectives which you get an answer in the form of demonstrative adjectives and here we have four words that are included this that these those right this that these and those we have already done the use of these words right in grade one so this that are used for singular these those for plural right they are used accordingly whether the thing is closer or it is far from you okay now i like this picture so which picture this picture it means it is demonstrative adjective what about that picture so do you like that also so what is that it is telling you what picture which picture that picture so we are pointing out they are pointers remember so this is also demonstrative adjective coming to next and last is interrogative adjectives what are interrogatives you know questions so what are interrogative adjectives they are the question words but what do you have to remember question word must be followed by a noun okay suppose i say why are you late now here what is the question word why very good but th is this uh, an interrogative adjective how will you find out check out what do you have after this question word what is it very good answer this is a verb it is not a noun so interrogative adjectives they have noun immediately after them for example i say which book is yours so when i'm writing which book is yours oh almost the same sentences here also which book will you buy now this is the question word what animal is that this is all the also the question word now what you see after these question words we have noun animal we have book as a noun here so when interrogative words are immediately followed by a noun this is very important remember question word and then a noun that means your question word is interrogative adjective i hope you have understood 
Yes. See here. Why are you late here? The question word is not followed by a noun. We don't have noun after this, so it will not be interrogative adjective. What will it be? We will learn ahead in further chapters. Okay. So if you have understood, let's do this exercise. In the following sentences, underline the adjectives and circle the noun they modify. Then write the type of adjective also. You have to write the type here. So what you will do? We will first underline the adjective. We will circle the noun and then we will write the type of adjective here. How? Let's do some of them. Which umbrella is yours? Okay. We have which here. So, we will underline the adjective. Now, which noun is it talking about? It is describing about umbrella. We are going to circle it. So, what type of, what, what is the kind of adjective here? Good answer. That is interrogative adjective. Right? Oh, a student is saying, ma'am, yours is giving an answer to whose? Whose umbrella? So, this is also adjective. No students, this is not adjective because it is also not followed by a noun. What you must know is for possessive adjectives, for interrogative adjectives and demonstrative adjectives, all these three adjectives must be immediately followed by a noun. Okay, so here, do you have a noun after yours? No, this is not an adjective, right? We saw a short film, okay, we have here on extinct animals. So, we have the noun here, film, and what type of film? Short, which adjective is this? Yes, very good, it is the adjective of quality. Yes, good. I could hear a student saying, ma'am, there is one more adjective. Can you just pick it out? Good. Extinct is another adjective. It is telling you about the noun animals. Yes. Do you know the meaning of extinct? The animals that no more exist, they are, they have just vanished out of this planet, right? They no more exist. So, again, extinct is also the adjective of quality. Very good. Let's move to the next. That is my brother. So, what is the adjective here? That. Oh, really? I just told you this, that, these, those are demonstrative adjectives. But I also told you, you must have a noun after them. So, do you think after that, is there any noun here? No. So, this is not an adjective at all. Okay. What is it then? We will learn ahead in other chapters. So, what is the adjective here? My brother is the noun. Whose brother? My brother. Yes, here we are getting an answer to whose it is possessive. And very importantly, noun is there with it. So, it is which adjective? Good answer. That is possessive adjective. So, I hope you have understood this difference for possessive adjectives, for interrogative adjectives and for demonstrative adjectives. For all these adjectives, children, always remember immediately after them, we must have a noun for these to be adjectives. If you do not have a noun, it will not be an adjective. Please remember. Okay, let's move ahead. A week has seven days. Brilliant answer. Seven is the adjective of number. Very good. That's. Yes. I have some money that you can borrow. So, what is the adjective here? Yes. Good. Some is the adjective. And the noun is money. Very good. Okay. Now, tell me which adjective is this? Adjective of number? No. Money cannot be counted. Why? Okay. Money does not mean rupees only. Do you ever say, I need five money? I need 500 money? No. Money includes other things also along with 
rupees right always remember money is like uh, it includes uh, your assets also right it is like wealth money is like wealth so in wealth also you include so many things you include all your assets you include your bank balances you include your gold reserves your property so many things all the assets are included so money does not only means currency okay so money is not countable we cannot count all other things that are included in money only rupees can be counted right so if i say i need 100 rupees there 100 is number adjective of number because i can't count rupees if i say i need some rupees then sum is countable it is adjective of number but not with money so here sum is adjective of quantity i hope you have understood this clearly very good so this is adjective of quantity because we cannot count money we can count rupees currency those scissors are not sharp enough to cut what is the adjective here very good those and what is the noun scissors now with this adjective you have a noun so this demonstrative word is an adjective with those you have this now so those is demonstrative adjective very good do you have some other adjective also can you find out oh good answer this is sharp we are talking about the sharpness of scissors the scissor is sharp the scissor is not sharp so sharp is another adjective here and it is the adjective of very nice answer is perfect it is the adjective of quality so students with the explanation of all these sentences in this exercise i hope things are better clear to you now can we move ahead okay now next we'll be learning about position of an adjective what do you mean by position of an adjective it means where to write the adjective what is the proper place to write an adjective so adjectives can be written before a noun like we have uh, i have already told you about uh, demonstrative interrogative and possessive adjectives these are always after them we always have noun that means the adjective comes before right and some other adjectives of quality also we can use like he is an intelligent boy so we are writing the adjective before noun this is a wooden box so we are writing the adjective before noun sometimes we may place after the noun also like the children are happy so we are telling about children they are happy so this is written after the noun she has been hungry for a long time so here we are talking about this adjective and it is telling about the girl she but see it's not before it is after at some gap not together even now some verbs like feel grow look seen become etc with these also we use the adjective after the um, this uh, noun Millie seems angry so we are writing after this verb okay you look beautiful so these are the verbs of perception might be to somebody uh, i am looking happy to somebody else i am looking annoyed isn't it so you might look beautiful to somebody the other might feel oh it's okay not so beautiful so these are the verbs of perception and sometimes the adjectives are also placed after an object so if i talk about greenery makes me happy so whom is it making happy me i am the object here so happy is written after the object similarly she made the soup spicy soup was made spicy soup is the object here and we are writing the adjective after the object so these are the different places different positions where we can place adjectives 
they can be placed before the nouns they can be placed after the nouns they can be placed after the verbs also and they can be placed after the objects also depending on the type of sentence now let's do an exercise if you have understood fill in the blanks with suitable adjectives now you have eight sentences here no help box no brackets are given that means you have a wide range of words that you can use it's your choice but be a bit careful how let's do the first sentence anuj is an dash man now students what do you see here whatever quality there are so many qualities in which by which you can describe anuj but what you have to remember because we are using the article an it should be a vowel sound so what you can say you can say anuj is an honest man anuj is an intelligent man both are starting with vowel sounds so they can fit here okay and if it was a you could have used other words also so here also you have a variety of words that you can use but you just remember that it should be a vowel sound you can also say he is an old man he is an able man right so it should be just with a vowel sound dash kind of animal is it yes you have to use a question word because it's a question mark here so what kind of animal is the perfect answer brilliant you all are so intelligent now dash flowers have a sweet smell yes good you can say some flower and yes you can say these also not this because flowers are plural you can say those also right okay next monkeys have dash tails yes long tails that everybody knows so we have just one word here dash apples do you like which apples because you have a question word here so this is how you will choose the correct adjective dash mother is dash so whose mother you are talking about it's your choice you can say my mother your mother her mother his mother their mother any word you can use here so you have so many choices here mother is and then you have to tell the quality of mother whose mother you are talking and how is she so you just have to mention that word you can say uh, is beautiful is uh, smart is active is uh, intelligent is uh, sweet is loving is caring so many adjectives you can describe a mother with dash people were there yes it can be many people it can be some people also and you can also use the word few and you can write any number also like five people were there ten people were there six people were there any number also you can write so there are so many options for you here also the dash cake is finished which cake whichever is your favorite flavor you can write the mango cake is finished the birthday cake also you can say the birthday cake is finished the christmas cake is finished the chocolate cake is finished whatever so you have lots of choices here also so can we move ahead now was that interesting exercise i also like that so it's time to just sum up what you have learned in today's session about adjective what is an adjective good something that describes a noun or a pronoun so some word rather then we did about the different kinds of adjectives the adjective of quality tells you how a noun is adjective of quantity gives an answer to yes how much very good so you get an answer to how much but for number you get an answer to yes good how many and then i also told you about cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers remember ordinals are first second third used for position and cardinal are used for counting 1 2 3 like that okay then we learnt about possessive adjectives demonstrative adjectives and interrogative adjectives 
possessives gives an answer to whose and what about demonstratives good so that means you have understood it gives an answer to which and interrogatives are question words and what i have told you very important thing about all these three types of adjectives all these must be followed by a noun children that is very important if after these answer words you do not find a noun it will not be your adjective okay and what will it be i have told you will be learning in sessions ahead so let's see what you have learned from today's session it's time to practice take the correct answer a word which is used to express quality quantity and point out what are these words called yes that's perfect which kind of adjective describes what type of a person or a thing is that means how yes that is quality the adjective that asks a question is very easy interrogative adjective good answer there is enough food in the kitchen so what do you think what is enough here yes it is adjective of quantity because you cannot count food and remember i told you we cannot count money also so this is adjective of quantity okay now i hope the kinds of adjectives are clear to you and you'll be uh, able to make the difference when you ask questions about possessive interrogative and demonstrative adjectives so keep practicing just to find out uh, exercises on adjectives and explore your learning we'll be coming with more interesting sessions on other topics of grammar till then happy learning